you can now transform your restyled character and get perfect lip sync using Runway's first frame together with two other powerful tools. Enter if you dare, and I steal a piece of your soul. It's also perfect for creating stunning VFX shots, turning yourself into an action-packed hero or a terrifying alien while keeping the motion and expressions perfectly synced. And it's actually quite easy if you follow my workflow step by step and use the exact tools I used. First, we'll restyle the base image using OpenArt's powerful image editor, which gives us maximum control, leaving tools like the new Gemini 2.0 and ChatGPT's Imogen far behind. Then we'll use Runway's first frame to turn our restyled character into a video. Finally, we'll bring the scene to life with the incredible new Pika frames, which based on my experience offers the best interpolation quality of any platform to smoothly animate our character flying into the scene. To get perfect lip sync, it's important to create a base video and first frame image in a 1280 by 768 aspect ratio. And for this, I'm using the free version of Resolve. So once you've opened a new project, you go to File, Project Settings, then we're gonna click on here, we're gonna move up, go to Custom, and now we're going to put our new aspect ratio in here, 1280 with 768. Click Save. And now we can drag our base footage in here. And then we are going to the transform tab. We're going to zoom in a bit so it exactly fits our new aspect ratio. Make sure that the timeline ruler is at the beginning of the frame. Now we're going to go to file, export, current frame as still and click export to save the file. So in open art, we're going to go to the edit image tab. Then we're going to click on start a blend board and we're going to change our aspect ratio to the aspect ratio that we need. And the real power here is that we can now do proper compositing and using inpainting to restyle our image. And then use the extremely powerful creative upscaler to elevate the image into a high-end cinematic result. And for this it's important that we start by adding the image we want to restyle, as keeping the structure 100% intact gives us the best lip sync results with Runway's first frame. Once you've dragged in the image you can click here to delete the background. And now I can add an extra layer by clicking on here and I will select the overgrown cityscape from my ultimate prompt toolkit. And in the beginning you won't see it, but you have to click on this image show the background. And now we want to get the image in the background. So we drag it down and now it is in the right order. And now I can drag this handle to make the image bigger and to position it as I want. And then I will click here to convert the image. And now I can use the in painting or any other tools. And if you have selected the click area, you can move around your mouse and select specific segments. However, I want to make my selection a bit bigger, so I'm going to use manual brush. Make the size of the brush a bit bigger, and now I'm going to draw around my character. Making sure that I have a bit of an outline because I want to create an exosuit. So I will add my exosuit prompt in here, and then I would recommend you to use the advanced option because the quality is much better. I would leave match original image style on, and then I always go to one image because I first wanna see if I get the result that I want, and I hit create. So now that I know that the prompt gives me the result that I want, I'm gonna generate four more images and then pick the best one. So I really like this image, so I'm going to hit select to add it to the canvas. And now I'm going to make the brush size a bit smaller and I'm going to create a mask for the helmet. So I will click on back to edit and now I will add my prompt. I leave it to advanced and it's very important to leave match original image style. And I'm going to create my image again. I've already generated several images. Some look great <laughs> and some turned out a bit funny, but that's no problem because in the next compositing step, we'll use the powerful creative upscale tool to smooth everything out and bring it all together. So I really like this image, so I'm going to hit select to add it to the canvas. And now I'm going to the upscale tab to give it the final touch. We now have three upscale modes to choose from. The precise upscale is ideal if you want to keep the image mostly unchanged, ensuring that the face from the base image stays the same. Refined upscale is great if you want to clean up your image while keeping the outfit the same. It did change my face slightly, but overall I am really impressed with the result. The creative upscale takes it to another level. It really makes the image pop and gives it a very cinematic feel. Though you do lose some of the original face, for the creative upscale I recommend to use the V2. And I will also recommend to add a prompt in here to strengthen it. And then you can just test the adjustment level and see what results you get. I'm gonna start with the 0.5 one. As you can see, I created quite a few images. Before I started recording, I got the best results using the V2 model with the creativity set to 0.12. 
as shown in this image. Now you can really see the strength of Open Art's creative upscale tool. It blends the foreground character with the background seamlessly and I am very impressed with it. Interestingly, with the image we just created, the V2 model changed me into a woman. So I tested the V1 model at different creativity levels and for this specific image, the V1 model with a creativity set to 0.55 worked best. The great thing about using creative upscale in this workflow is that the structure of the eyes, mouth and nose stays identical to the base image, ensuring perfect lip sync quality with Runway's first frame tool. Now I'll download this image by clicking here. So before we turn this image into a video, I want to mention that the prompts like an exosuit inspired by Star Wars and a post-apocalyptic overgrown cityscape all come from my ultimate prompt toolkit, available at my website aivideocourses.com. Now let's restyle our base video using Runway's first frame tool. So on the main dashboard we're going to click on generate video. Now I'm going to drag my video in here. Then I'm going to click on the style first frame image and I'm going to drag my image in here. And now that's to upload. Then I'm going to click the settings icon and I'm going to set the structure transformation to 1 which in most situations gives me the best result. I'm going to leave the aspect ratio to 1280 by 768 and then I'm going to hit generate. So this is the result and I'm very impressed with the lip sync quality. Enter if you dare and I steal a piece of your soul. I also noticed that in many cases the image shifts slightly during the first 10 to 12 frames. But we'll solve that in the next step. Before we proceed, there's one more thing to mention. For the lip sync to stick, half body shots work best. As the character moves further away and the face gets smaller, the lip sync starts to lose its accuracy. So I will click on this button to download the video. Now I create a new Resolve project and this will automatically create a 9020 by 1080 timeline. And now I will drag my video in here. Yeah, let's change this. Then I go to the transform tab. I'm going to scale my image again till it fits. I can even do the position a bit. I can drag this a bit down, but I like it like this. And to solve the problem I mentioned earlier, I'm going to skip forwards to frames till I get to the point where everything is clean. And then I'm going to click on export and save the image as a still. So now in Pika Labs, I'm going to select the Pika frames and I'm going to drag my end image here in the last frame. Now we need to create the first frame and for that we go back to the image editor in OpenArt. Now I will drag my last frame in here. I will select the remove tool and I'm going to choose magic erase. And I set the creativity level to 1 for optimal background result. Now I'm going to make the brush size bigger and I'm going to draw over the character. And then I will click the remove now button and then click here to download it. And now in the Pika frames tool I will drag the first frame in here. And now I'll add a man wearing an exosuit is flying into the scene to the prompt box. One of the things I really appreciate about this tool is the ability to set the duration of the transformation anywhere between 1 and 10 seconds. This feature truly makes it stand out since other platforms with similar keyframes features don't offer this level of control. And now I will set the resolution to 1080p and leave the aspect ratio on 16 by 9. Then I hit apply and now I'm going to generate. I've created several videos using different durations and I found that 3 seconds gave me the best results. These are the ones I liked most. And here are some of my favorite results using longer transformation times. In these clips I used OpenArt's remove and inpainting tool to create a completely different starting frame. And in the following examples I used inpainting in OpenArt to design a portal like opening. Now before I'll show you how to stitch the Pika frames video together with a runway video, including a trick that makes it look super smooth, let me first show you another creative thing you can do with the Pika frames tool. You can start with an image of a woman and use a close-up of her eye as the final frame, then enter smooth seamless transition into the prompt box to create an amazing shot. In my blog post and the dedicated YouTube video, I'll walk you through exactly how to create these kind of images. I also make use of 3D props to control the camera angle and control the consistent character's position. Now I'm going to drag my video into the timeline and since we trimmed it earlier, it should line up seamlessly. Before showing you the special smoothing trick, I'll first adjust the color and contrast because there is a slight difference between the Pika and Runway videos. So to fix this, I select the Pika video and switch to the Fusion tab. Press Shift plus Spacebar to add the Sharpen tool, set the value to 0.5. Then press Shift plus Spacebar again to add a Brightness and Contrast tool and tweak a few more settings. Back in the Edit tab, I open the Effects panel and drag the Smooth Cut transition onto the clip. I set the transition to 6 frames and now we have a clean smooth transition. Enter if you dare and I steal a piece of your soul. Here's the video I mentioned earlier 
All the tools are listed in the description 